A couple days ago, I was wearing this hat, and my friend Brad came to town, and he said I looked dapper. Now, I punished him for that, but evidently, I liked the hat. Today, we're going to talk about identity, purpose, and adventure. It's the Monday Morning Memo for March 17th, 2014. People will direct their attention to whatever gives them a sense of identity, purpose, and adventure. You must always remember this when crafting advertising. The fans of a sports team or the members of a club, their team gives them identity, purpose, and adventure. Political parties, too, give their members identity, purchase, and purpose, and adventure. Religious organizations, book clubs, and Twitter feeds give their followers identity, purpose, and adventure. A grandmother adores her grandchildren because they give her identity, purpose, and adventure. Do you know what a rock collector gets from his rock collection? Identity, purpose, and adventure. Each of us, every one of us, is on a treasure hunt. The differences between us are found primarily in the things we value. When a person doesn't value what we value, we think a little less of them. They are obviously shallow, stupid, deceptive, or evil. Abraham Maslow believed a third of our society lives below the search for identity or above it. Those who live below the search are focused primarily on finding food, shelter, and safety. This is their economic reality. Those who live above the search have a clear sense of identity, and they know their purposes precisely. This is their emotional reality. Their adventures depend on nothing outside themselves. Those who live below or above the search for identity are effectively immune to advertising. The first group can't afford what you're selling, and the second group doesn't care. These people are rarely good prospective customers. Fortunately for businesses everywhere, two-thirds of us buy what we buy to remind ourselves and tell the world around us who we are. These two-thirds of society are the backbone of the economy. We have needs that have not been met, hungers that have not been satisfied, dreams that have not been fulfilled. Businesses exist to meet those needs, satisfy those hungers, and fulfill those dreams. We make and spend money primarily to discover who we are. This would be sad if it wasn't so much fun. V a la economy, Roy H. Williams.